these uh, myths or, or powerful stories. Yeah, they're myths. Yes, they they have real social consequences. Of course, they do. Today, I yes. recall years ago, uh, Ronald Reagan had a Secretary of Agriculture who was against any uh, form of uh, ecological conservation because he said, it "Doesn't matter. We're going to have an apocalypse soon anyway." Yes. Right. Right. Uh, <clears throat> I make the statement at the beginning of my science fiction book series mm -hmm. that science fiction is the most influential contemporary form of futurist thinking. Mm -hmm. But I use the word contemporary because I um, am, um, uh, uh, let me see, uh, convinced of the opinion that there are more people in the world who are influenced by the classic religious myths about the end of the world mm -hmm. or what the way the world is going to go in the future then are influenced by science fiction mm -hmm. and that's that has been that has been and still is the dominant mode of thinking about the future coming out of traditional um, uh, religious uh, thinking and what psychological research would indicate mm -hmm. is that optimism and pessimism have self-fulfilling prophecy effects. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that if I think things will go great, they necessarily will, or if I think things will go bad, they necessarily will, but we increase the chances of the thing we anticipate happening by virtue of believing in it. We mm -hmm. increase the chances. And so having an obsession with a great battle to mm -hmm. be fought between good guys and bad guys, where the good guys and bad guys are actually rather ambiguous, and the other side thinks that you're the bad guy and vice versa, that that is increasing the chances of that kind of a reality yeah. coming to pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and that's what we struggle against. We struggle against that powerful, deep-seated, archetypal myth. And by myth, I don't necessarily mean anything derogatory. It's a fundamental, deep story that we believe in about the nature of reality or what's going to happen. Well, Joseph Campbell seemed to believe that these myths are really about us. Yes, they are about us. Yes, right. And in fact, you could even say that the good spirit and the evil spirit are psychological projections mm -hmm. of what humanity sees inside of themselves. Yep. And Freud would have said that, in fact, or Jung would have said that it's simply the projection out there into metaphysical space mm -hmm. uh, or um, outer space of uh, the sense in which we see an evil side within us and a good side within us who are at war with each other. Mm -hmm. So we put it out there with the hope that in the end the good side is going to win and it's going to eradicate the evil side. Well, I know, um, I believe it was in the 1930s, Jung wrote an essay that fascinated me a great deal in which he observed the dreams of his German patients. And mm -hmm. what he saw was that the uh, German god of war, the ancient Teutonic god of war, yeah. Wotan, seemed yeah. to be appearing in these dreams. And mm -hmm. he, he predicted on the basis of that that there w would be a war soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And indeed there was. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. If an idea, a theme circulates mm -hmm. around in enough people's minds, mm -hmm. in dreams and in conscious states, it primes the pump. It does all kinds of things to move events in a certain direction. Uh, there is the argument presented uh, that um, it was all of the future war stories written between 1870 and 1910 in Europe, mm -hmm. hundreds and hundreds of them, yep. very paranoid stories about invaders coming from across the uh, channel or from some part of Europe that primed the pump for World War I. Mm -hmm. Because it got both sides thinking about ways to be more protected or uh, uh, increase their military power and see the other one as somehow out to steal their territory yep. and diminish their power. So people have said, um, you know, in, in future studies, it is said 
that the best way to predict the future is to create it. Mm -hmm. Now, in science fiction, you don't, it, besides saying that science fiction may predict the future, you could even say that science fiction has a role in creating the future. Yeah. So our images of what we imagine to come in the future will actually prime us and uh, sensitize our consciousness and our behavior to uh, facilitate the realization of those things.